Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make easy DIY wooden curtain rods in brackets that you can paint or stain to match any room in your house. For this project, head to Home Depot or Lowe's and find two shelf brackets that you really love and the wooden closet pole socket sets that are unfinished like you see in this picture. You want the shelf brackets to be the kind that already has the hardware installed on the back that'll make the job even faster and easier. Then I use my miter saw to cut about two inches off the front end of my shelf brackets. Depending on whatever style shelf brackets you do pick, you want to um, plan how you want it to look when you cut it off before you do it because you don't want to have to go out and buy new ones if you mess up. You also want to make sure that you leave enough room for the closet pole socket that you're going to attach next. Measure and mark where you want to attach that socket. You want to make sure that there is enough room at the top to lift the rod in and out of those brackets. I attach the closet pole sockets with wood glue and my brad nailer. Be sure to wipe away any excess wood glue. After that sets up, you are ready to stain or paint your brackets. Here's a quick hack for hanging your new DIY curtain rods and brackets. Put a piece of painter's tape across the back of the bracket where the hardware is. Then poke a hole where you want your screws or your nails to go on the wall. Then you can peel the tape off and put it on the wall and know exactly where you want your screws or nails to go. So depending on whether or not you have a stud behind that spot, you'll decide what kind of hardware you want to use. If you have a stud there, you can use nails or screws um, and just make sure you have a wide enough head to hang that hardware on. If there is no stud there, I recommend using um, screws with an anchor inside so that it's strong and held on to that tight wall or that drywall really tight. Once the brackets are hung on the wall, you can measure the distance between the two brackets and make your cut for your curtain rod. Then you want to paint or stain that to match. Make sure you guys also use a water-based poly on your brackets and your rods before you hang them on the wall. That's pretty much it for my DIY curtain rods and brackets, guys. I hope you like them as much as I do. At the time that I made these a few years ago, I couldn't find big curtain rods, chunky curtain rods in the stores, and I wanted something that added more style and detail to the room. I love that you can paint or stain these to match any room or pick any style of shelf bracket that you like to sort of design your own custom curtain rods. Thanks for checking this out and good luck with your project, guys.